Okay, so I've opened up a mock-up file here, and this I'm going to have this exact same file for you all to be able to use. I have a couple that I'm going to put in to let you choose from, but this exact file is available for you to use. So I'm going to, um, I have it open here, and I want to place my cover here, okay? And if you look in your latest palette, you're going to see an option that says, okay, put your design. And, of course, there's smart objects that are there. So you're looking for the little smart object that says your design right here. You're going to click on this layer, and you're going to click on the smart object so it opens up this, okay? Now, you want to place your design here. Now, my design was, of course, the photo cover. So I'm going to go get my cover. I can go to my desktop. Uh, go to my file, my Mac file, because I'm looking for this PDF, okay? This is what I'm looking for, this PDF here. So I want to open up, I actually want to open this PDF up in Photoshop, so let me close that up. Open it up and, uh, so I'm just going to uh, control, uh, click on the, uh, uh, right click and open with Photoshop, okay? Now, make sure you look at these options here. Because sometimes it will give you the option of having this in grayscale. And I think that happened to me last night. So you definitely don't want that. Uh, so you want to make sure you put this here. Uh, make sure this is RGB or CMYK. But make sure it has color. And then hit OK. And it's going to open up your file there. So I'm just going to drag this window down. Now I want to move this so I can be able to see both documents. So I'm just going to take this layer one and just drag it right over here. Close this up because I don't need this anymore. Don't save. And I'm going to place this where I, where I need it. Now, I see it's a little smaller so I can do my command T with my transform. And just get that to where I want it and hit save. I mean, and hit return. I'm sorry. Now I want to save. So once I hit save, command is... It updates this smart object file and I can close this. So right here where it says your design 11 here, I'm just going to close that. And then I go to my page here and you see it has updated my uh, mock-up. Now, this, and this is done. So you can save this, turn this in like this. But of course, I want to kind of change some things. So you see it says my background. So I'm going to go to my background here. And I, I kind of want to play off those colors just a little bit just complement those colors there so I have a background here that I have set up I put a color overlay on it's just a regular background and I put a color overlay here which is just an orange just to complement those colors there and I'm hit save let's see what that does I may need to darken that a little bit All right so that makes that pop just a little bit more you know than just that plain little background there I think I will darken that a little bit though Let's see, so let me change that from overlay. Try multiply. Mm, that may be a little bit too heavy. Let's see. Let's save. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better uh, to me. And so that you have that saved like this, and you can put any type of background there. There's some wood background. Um, any any background that you want, if you want to have something that you say, okay, I don't want this, I want a different background image, you can select this and put any background image uh, that you want there. Uh, it doesn't matter. So if you want to put grass or something there, that's fine. Anything you want to put in this area here, you can just double click on there, place it in your um, you know file there. Um, if you don't want to color at all, you just want to leave it plain, you can do that. And But it just depends on how you want your uh, final project to look. Now, make sure you look at the uh, video of how to save your work. So if you want to use this mock-up for something else, uh, look at the video on how to save your work uh, for using the mock-up again.